Welcome everyone, this is Simeon, and in this video I'm going to show you what's new in the latest update of KS Vantage. First we improved the support for the V-Ray Triplanar texture by considering the randomization parameters. Here you can see by checking the texture rotation and frame rotation or random axis options, the texture varies accordingly. We also extended the support for the V-Ray UVW randomizer and to demonstrate this, I'm going to lower the U scale and you can see some of the textures get larger coverage. Let's bring this back and I can also increase the rotation variation, getting different results. But this will also rotate the vertical lines, so I'm going to just get rid of it, like so. We also added support for the forest color texture and I'm going to get closer to demonstrate that. The material here is uh, for the white clovers, and uh, here's the forest color. Let's minimize that. And I'm going to override this. You can see the result. Um, both item and element are working. And if I want to change the variation to more yellowish or orange, I can do so. Let's change the other color as well. Also, the blending modes are supported. So changing to additive or average will affect. Let's bring it back to color. That's better. The scene has animation so that the sun sets at the end of the timeline, like so. And I'm going to export the animated scene so that I can demonstrate the other improvements we made directly in Vantage. Let's maximize Vantage and um, let's scrub the animation. There we go. Uh, you can see that I've animated the shutter speed um, so that I get proper exposure. And if I play the animation and uh, have a look towards the sun, you can see the sunset. All right. I'm going to bring back the camera and I'm also going to increase the denoiser to get cleaner results. Yep. And uh, as a last touch, I'm going to apply a warmer lot, something like the filmic warm. Now, if I want to do some transformations of the objects in the scene, uh, I can do so by selecting the appropriate tool, like for example, the translate tool. But, um, oops, let's, uh, let's select the bucket itself, the parent. Okay, so if I move this, you can see that um, it's not very accurate and um, I have to eyeball it. To improve that, we've added context menu on the tools and that opens up an input box with type in coordinates. This allows you to precisely place objects exactly where you want them. For example, since I know that the width of this pillar is about 25 centimeters, I can place it to be at 50 uh, in the Z direction. This also works for rotation as well, where you can explicitly set the rotation in degrees. Finally, I would like to point out the snapping function that we've added. It's this magnet over here. If you left click, you enable it and right clicking opens up its settings. Currently it's set to 15 degrees and as you can see, it snaps at 15 degrees, but you can set it to let's say 45 or something else. In this case, 45 is too coarse. So let's bring it back to 15. The same applies for translation. And currently it's set to 25 centimeters because I know that the blocks are uh, 25 centimeters wide. And as you can see, it snaps accordingly. If I select this lamp here, I can use the two axial snapping, which places the object at the same location relative to the block surface. I'm going to scrub the animation a little bit later so that we can see the illumination from the light. This way I can see its contribution clearer and make better decisions. That concludes this short video. I hope you like the new features. Thanks for watching and take care.